and welcome back to my channel. Hello! I'll be embarking on another 14 days skincare challenge and today's challenge is gonna be the 14 days wish for glass skin challenge. These three products I'll be trying today were sent to me by Wish Trend and they are supposed to let you like um, get that glowy glass skin after you use it. So I'm really excited to be going through a entire 14 day 2 week course of using all three products. The um, supple preparation and set the toner, the vitamin C drop and the vitamin E mask. So they're supposed to let you have that glowy effect and really excited to see how that works out. Bringing you guys closer, this is how my skin looks like right now. I think it's okay-ish. Um, I've been having one pimple here, this is new, I just got it yesterday. And these three over here, these are not pimples, these are like... I'm not sure what they are but it's basically I have some bacteria going on in my body that is causing all this. But. So I'll be using it religiously for the next 14 days and hopefully can help me get rid of the um, remaining scabs over here as well as give it a glow over here. Hi guys, it has been a week since I've been consistently using the products and I'm on a trip right now and I thought why not, let's go through the um, step one by one. It's not mucus, it's pimple cream around my nose. And like you remember the three things over there, it kind of like healed and it's just left with like scar marks now. Do you see like after I put my toner, my face already looks like so glowy. Then I go in with the vitamin C serum. So this serum right, actually feels kind of like has this like oil consistency. So I just put like maybe drop two or one drop. You see it running down my face. I'm tapping the vitamin C in. This is supposed to help me with the scar marks as well as even out the skin tone. So last step, I'm using the vitamin E mask. So what I do is like, I put it all over my skin, just rub it in. And I like to rub a rather thick layer all over. And then I go to sleep with it like a sleeping mask. So that was all three steps of the skincare routine. You can see my face. It feels so moisturized. It has been exactly 14 days since the start of the challenge. So I am now very ready to be sharing with you guys like how each of the products perform. On this skin right now, other than the eyebrow, the eye makeup as well as a bit of lip tint, there is no makeup on my skin at all. Of course, we're going to do a close up of my skin right now to see how it looks like compared to 14 days ago. I'll be using the Flash Supple Preparation Unscented Toga. Let's start off with if there is a scent. There is no scent! What this toner claims to do is that it will help to balance out our pH, prepare our skin for the next step as well as moisturize our skin. Unlike most toner, this toner doesn't have a very watery consistency. It's very thick but it still flows and you can tell that it's not very watery as it takes some time to seep into the cotton pad. So the recommended way to apply your toner is always the same. You start from the bottom and you lift up so that this way it lifts up your face. So what I like about this toner would be the fact that it is very simple. I like it for its simplicity. There's nothing much behind this toner. It's basically just to help you moisturize your skin clean your skin and also balance out the pH. Another thing that makes me enjoy this toner so much is that it is very moisturizing. And I think that what makes it so moisturizing could be its very unique consistency. Almost like an essence instead of a liquid water type of toner. So I'm done toning my skin and you can see that there is a glow to my skin already. Like immediately after. And what I feel is that there is a film of like very thin layer of moisture on my skin. So to rate this toner, I'll give it a 5 out of 5 stars because I think that I'm loving its simplicity. I love how moisturizing it is and I love how it caters to all skin types including very sensitive skin. So yeah, that's a goal for me. So moving into the next step of this routine, we will be using the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. So over here is the very popular vitamin C drops which is known to help with hyperpigmentation to help with the uneven skin tone as well as moisturized skin. The product comes with this dropper applicator which I love because I think it's very sanitary and easy to use. How I've been using it because I have normal to combi skin, I use 2-3 to three drops on my entire face. 1, 2, 3, 
to one more on my hand, my forehead and my chin. The consistency of this serum actually feels like an oil which is very interesting because when I first started it, I thought that it was going to be like kind of like a more watery kind of consistency but it's a oil formulation which is very very unique I think and I like it because oils are great for hydration. As I don't have very sensitive skin, what I like to do is take an extra drop, rub it with my finger and then I'll go into the spots which I need more help and I'll like just rub it into those areas a bit more. So in 14 days for my scar marks to actually have lightened so much is actually quite a bit. It's just that I've used something better so I'm kind of having this very mixed feelings. Overall, it did work. It helped my skin. It lightened my scar marks. So yeah, that's a go for me. How I would rate this product will be 4 out of 5 only because I've used something better but that something better was 5 times the price. So yeah, that's my review on this one! So last but not least, our routine will end off with the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask And this mask I have been loving because it has this really really interesting consistency Like a look at the mask I've actually been using this mask in 3 ways In the daytime, at night, as well as as a wash off mask And I'll be showing you guys how I do that so in the day, I actually use this as my moisturizer. I'll pick up a very small amount of it because it's quite thick. I rub it in my fingers and then I apply it on my skin as my daytime moisturizer. It's very very thick so make sure just to take a little bit or like Claire's recommended, you can actually use a bit of this, mix it into your moisturizer to give it more boost of hydration. I think that it works as a great makeup base as well personally because it's kind of like has this very tacky feeling to it and like it will help to adhere my makeup better. How I use this at night is that I'll pick up more product and then rub it in my fingers as usual and apply it on my skin. I'll use it as like a you know those Laneige sleeping mask packs. Yeah, so this is the Claire sleeping mask. I see that it's shinier because it's thicker and then I'll go to sleep with it. So the final way that I use it is actually I use it as an emergency help me rescue my skin hydration mask. I actually use a lot of it, like legit a lot and then I'll just rub it all over my skin. This step I actually do like maybe um, if I know I'm going out in the evening that day and then like in the afternoon I'll just do a very very thick pack. Apparently the vitamin E mask is supposed to enhance the effect of the vitamin C drops. So when I use this and then afterwards I use this this will be absorbed even better into my skin. This is how it feels like. So how I rate this mask will be 5 out of 5 because I think that it is so versatile. 3 in 1 mask. So to end off this review, did I manage to get my glass skin in 14 days? What do you guys think? I am getting there but it's not so easy to achieve glass skin. I think I need to like use it for a longer time or like maybe add more things into my routine. Overall, they did work to help my skin look glowier and also help with pigmentation. So if you guys are interested to purchase any of these items, all the links are down below. You can go read up more in depth about each ingredient, what it's supposed to do, and this, that, this, that, all gonna be linked below. And really hope that you guys are enjoying this 14 days challenge kind of series. I hope that that's a kind of like a more in-depth way of me trying the products and being able to give more like accurate reviews to you. So yeah, if you do enjoy it, do remember to give it a thumbs up, leave down in the comments if you have any queries at all. I always reply and yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!